Hi, my name is Mark Archer. I'm now going to teach you the last high note, or the last two actual high notes of um, any saxophone, actually, alto, tenor, or soprano sax. But we're going to do on alto for now. We're going to play top F, and we're going to get that into play um, in this tune. Um, now, top F is the first two palm keys we've already held down, and the top side key. And we're going to put top F is the second finger of the left hand, just holding it out like that. Okay, and in the olden days of saxes, this would have been your highest note. Playing top F straight up is really tricky. It's a bit like um, trying to do a high jump without a run up. So have a run up to it. Okay, so that's top F. Now, there is another way of doing top F. Many, um, many moons ago at the beginning because I said, please don't touch this key at the top, the illegal key, I called it. Okay, now we're gonna to touch the illegal key. You hold your finger on the C and you spread it like a forked fingering, with the thumb on, and as you hit this note, slightly tilt the horn forward. Which is a really nice way of going straight to top F. So if you're doing a quick phrase and it's just top F and nothing else, it's a good one to hit. Okay, and if you can get that front way of doing top F, if you're on the effectively like the G key, you get top E. Not quite as pure, but nonetheless, it's a fingering. So that one again, just a little tilt. Okay, so that is 32 notes. And when I started playing the sax, 16 with the thumb on, 16 with the thumb off. It's slightly changed since then. Since then, they've added one more key. And the extra key they've added is this key here, which is the top F sharp key. So unbelievably, and this always feels like Adolf Sachs' little joke, you know, where he's just going, I'm gonna put something that's so tricky. Okay, nice soft hands, almost like cricketing hands. You go top D, top D sharp, top E, top F, and then with the third finger of the right hand, we hit the top F sharp key. That's note 33. You'll need that one for your, for your Will You Solo, Hazel Connors Will You Solo, that's the key note in that. Okay, and again, you could do that top F sharp off the front with the, remember the, um, the illegally key, the finger on the C, and hit it that way. So that's top F sharp, and that's the 33, 33rd note, and that's the last legal note, if you like, before I think something called the altissimo. Some of the greatest players of all time, in fact, most of the great players of all time, haven't really bothered with the altissimo, which is the high squeezy stuff above that, which you can do, and we can look at that later. But if you can get all these notes beautiful, you're away. Now, to get top F into play, we're gonna play probably the highest version that we want to play of, um, of uh, Paul McCartney's Legendary Yesterday, which I've had the great um, privilege of listening to live. Fantastic song. Um, so we're gonna play Yesterday, the most covered song of all time, and it's gonna be really high, so hold on to your hat when you're playing this as well. But it's all about getting some mobility over these top notes. So just look at the bigger picture. I've given you a verse nice and low, so you can actually really enjoy it, but I'm just gonna play the verse super high for you now just to get the feel of it, okay? So, um, so watch out for this, okay? There's a lot of jumping around with the fingers there, okay? And I was taking super extra care there, um, almost too much care. Um, but there's, that's the top notes. So oh, you now have all the notes on the saxophone. So we're now gonna knit them together in the next chapter called the chromatic scale. So we're gonna knit all the notes together where they live adjacent to each other. But that's all the notes. Top notes are fantastic on the saxophone. Take your time to learn them. Really give them as much presence as you can. Think rich, think nice warm sound, put some vibrato on them as well, okay? Give them some presence, they're fantastic notes. Um, to play and make sure you've got to read this nice and stiff so if you do give them a bit what for with the lip they actually do sing for you so uh, that's all your notes um, and that's the end of chapter seven the Blarat Sax a revolutionary approach to learning the sax which you can find at my website www.blarratsax.com and click on shops thank you very much